Welcome to the Quit Vaping Podcast, the podcast designed to make you a non-listener. In this show, I'm not going to scare you away from a life of vaping. What I am going to do is show you just how good your life can be without it. Thank you so much for listening and enjoy the show. Hello and welcome back to the Quit Vaping Podcast, guys. So um, I want to take a second before I really get going today and thank everybody who showed their support and everyone who's reaching out to me like, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. There have been so many nice people who are just amazing, who have reached out and let me know how this is changing their life. Um, and I want you to know, guys, like find me on my link and like ask questions. I don't mind doing that. I actually like reaching out and building relationships because I really do care about you guys and I want to help you with your life. And remember that I do this podcast as a life coach, not just to help you get away from nicotine, but to show you the tools that I've used to get away from nicotine and the exact same tools that I used to create the life I'm in right now where I own a business and I'm like super excited about my life. So um, today's episode is going to be on the difference between understanding and applying material. And the podcast I offer for free, I have another podcast called the Making Meaningful Income Podcast for anyone who's looking for fulfilling work. And that's great. You can have all that for free. And it's so much content and amazing work. And to actually apply the material, though, I do believe, and this is my own personal lived experience in life and beliefs, is you need to like put some kind of skin in the game if you want to learn how to really apply the material and really get the most that it has to offer. So course is going to help you go from understanding the material I teach to actually applying it in your life. And what I want to offer is over the last year and a half, (laughs) I have to laugh thinking about it. I've spent about $30,000 on coaching courses, coaching materials, and I sincerely believe that's the only reason I'm in the life I have right now. The material is amazing. This material and the tools I have learned have changed my life entirely, but actually putting the money up, actually putting my skin in the game, as I like to say, is what's gotten me to the place I'm at today because it is hard, right? Like quitting vaping, the actual understanding of how to do it is easy, but sitting with your urges and learning how to do that in a meaningful way that's loving towards yourself, that's a difficult process. So I think that it's important to have some kind of investment up front so that you take it seriously. But um, I'm really honest and transparent. Like if for some reason you sign up for the course and it doesn't actually help you apply the material, please reach out to me. Like you can literally reach out to me at any time. I want you to reach out to me and build a connection and I want to help you quit vaping. And if you pay me $97 for the course and you're still not there, please reach out to me because I want to fix it and make it right. I j- like I'm not just saying that. I really want to make sure that this shit works for everyone and I sincerely believe that right now with the course, it's going to actually help you quit. So that's that's what I have to say. It's a long intro, but it's an important intro. And it's one that I've really been um, trying to figure out is the best way to go forward with my business and my life. All right. So with that said, welcome to today's episode. And I do want to talk to you about the difference between understanding material and what I say is passive consumption and actually applying it, which is active consumption of material. So um, there's a difference between passive action and inactive action. And we are so flooded with passive action in passive material and passive um, learning in our life. And what I mean by that is like you guys can literally sit down and consume every single episode of this podcast like over six or seven hours and just consume the shit out of it. And that's passive action. Why? Because when we are listening to something or we're just like understanding it or learning a concept, it feels really productive and it is, but it's not as productive as actually applying the information in order to make the huge change in your life. And I did this before I became a life coach. I listened to a podcast on life coaching. It was called the life coach school podcast. And that's actually who I certified through um, the life coach school. And um, the woman who does it, she has like 500 episodes and I literally, you guys, I binge listened to that thing for like a month and a half. I probably put like 70 hours of podcasting um, information behind my belt. And it did change my life. But once I decided to actually get certified and I threw $21,000 at the certification, that's when I like something in my mind clicked. It was like, no longer am I just learning this information, understanding it. Now I'm going to apply it in my life. And that is what made me such an effective coach today and why I'm able to teach this information and apply it and teach you guys how to apply it in a way that just is not possible with passive consumption of information. And I want to talk to you guys about this too. I have a four-year degree in psychology. I think you would know this by now if you've listened to the podcast. I worked in the psychiatric hospital for a year and a half. And what I found is, and I've also want to say this, I've le- I've read like every self-help book under the sun, or at least like a huge majority of them. My bookshelf behind me is just filled with self-help books. And for a lot of people, things like therapy or maybe life coaching or self-help, it doesn't work to the level that they want it to. Or they'll read a self-help book and it won't actually change your life. And again, this is the concept. This is the reason why that's happening. Because self-help books, especially like the bestsellers that sell millions of copies, they work 
or else they wouldn't be selling copies. Like, I promise you, if life coaching, if the self-help world was a sham, I promise you by now it would have been found out, right? But this is a growing industry that is changing people's lives. But the way to actually get the huge transformation that you're really wanting to actually quit vaping for good is to learn how to apply the information. So remember, there are so many podcasts out there. There are so many things that are going to help you learn how to understand the material, but then actually putting it into practice is different, right? Like sitting down with yourself and actually feeling your urges is something that you'll have to do in order to overcome them enough to where you can get away from the nicotine addiction. And then also the thought work, right? So like if you have been passively listening to this podcast, and you're like, oh, he kind of makes sense and stuff like that. Like that's good, but you're not actually questioning your beliefs and your actions aren't changing. It's because you have beliefs so that you haven't questioned. So that is why it's important to actually learn how to apply the information right into your own life. Like grab a worksheet, do it. Um, sit down with an emotion, actually do an emotion, a f- now feeling worksheet to feel your emotions. And that's the kind of stuff that you will learn how to do in a course versus understand cognitively in something like a podcast. So I've had people reaching out to me and saying, hey, this is like actually changed my life, this podcast, and it's amazing, and I've learned so much, and wow. And then they say, I'll reach out to them a couple weeks later, a couple months later, and they say, hey, I've I've gotten back into vaping, like my spouse is still vaping or something like that. And the reason isn't because the material doesn't work, it's because you haven't actually applied it properly. You've understand the concepts, they've changed your life, they brought some transformation in your life, it's amazing, but then there's a spot where you haven't applied it, right? And remember, a couple months ago now at this point, my dad was quitting smoking. And he did the traditional hard headed willpower way that like a lot of people do with quitting. They just cold turkey stop. They force himself. They don't learn how to manage their urges. They don't learn how to question their thinking. And then what happens is you're in a willpower battle forever and you, you eventually go back. And I think even my clients that understand cognitively what I teach in this podcast, they're still not applying the information of sitting with your urges. Like if a client goes back to vaping because their spouse is vaping in the household, they do not understand that thoughts are still there that they need to change because at the moment they actually understand that they've applied the thought work in their life that I teach, then they will no longer have any desire to pick up the vape that their spouse is using. It won't even be a temptation. So it's very clear to me that when somebody is falling in and out of nicotine addiction still, they haven't actually applied the information. They've understood it maybe to a certain point, but they haven't applied it. So again, like I want to get this information to everybody and I am like this podcast is doing so great. I'm so excited for it. I'm so grateful. But you guys, if you're still having trouble after listening to this podcast, it's because you haven't learned to actually put in practice the information I'm teaching you in this course, in in this podcast, which I will teach you how to do in the course. The method I teach is called the only two method. And I talk about it in this podcast. You understand it cognitively, right? Thoughts, in emotions, pretty much. Like I genuinely want you to have no desire to use nicotine again, ever. And not because you're brainwashing yourself, because you're unbrainwashing yourself. But the unbrainwashing doesn't happen unless you actually apply the thought work in your life. That is the work, that is the difference between actually taking the information and using it versus understanding it and going, that's cute, I'm gonna save this picture for later. Or, you know, having a quote saved for later about nicotine. (laughs) So, I just am really excited about this. I really do want to have, I actually want to have like hundred percent success rate because why not? Like, what if I could actually have that? That'd be so cool. It just, I don't know. I'm so excited about it. So, um, I haven't really done a good job selling the course. I think I've been undervaluing it. I know I have been. The information I teach you is freaking bomb. It's going to be so good. I love it. The videos are fun. You literally have to sit back and relax and watch the videos. And then there's a workbook at the end. If you still need to learn how to apply it in that way, you can use the workbook, but It should be an overall growth process. And the reason why I'm pushing this so hard is because the tools that I teach you how to apply in the course are the exact same tools I would teach you if you were a client of mine that wants to transform their life and actually become the person they want to become the most. So it's a really good foundational course to not only learn how to quit vaping, but also learn the same tools that are going to help you literally create the life that you want on top of that. So this has been kind of a, I know it's been a salesy episode. I get it. And I'm not usually like that. I really do want you to be able to quit vaping and I want you to learn these tools and I want to be be as effective as I possibly can to teach them to you. And the only way I'm going to do that is if I get people enrolled that actually take the course all the way through that really do want to quit vaping that um, are communicating with me and it's a two-way street of love and affection and learning together. So sign up for the course. It's going to help you. And if there, for any reason, (laughs) it doesn't help you in the way that you want it to, you reach out to me directly and we're going to we're going to have a lovely chat together and we're going to make it work, okay? 
So I love you guys so much. I genuinely do from the bottom of my heart. I have such a beautiful view of humanity. I really do. I love everyone that I come in contact with. I just am such an optimist with people and I really do want the best for you. And if you are spending your time, which I find very valuable, that you're here spending your time with me, I want to make sure it's worth it. I want to make sure that you get the best tools in the industry for an amazing, amazing value. And I want to make sure they work. So find me, reach out to me, sign up for a free consult for one-on-one coaching. Like Get in contact with me. I promise you your life will become better spending time and energy and resources with me. So have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you guys next week, okay? What's up, guys? I hope you're enjoying the show and that each episode is bringing you one step closer to becoming a non-listener. If you'd like to take all this information to the next level and finally quit vaping for good, you can check out the course link in my bio. Have a great day. See you next week.